And uh, speaking to Andres here is uh, Sonia Gallego. So, Sonia, this is one of the first large rallies under the new Labour government that announced, of course, that it's stopping at least some arms deliveries to Israel. Nevertheless, what is the message there at the rally? Well, the message remains the same. Uh, really, there is a concerted sense of frustration that to those who've gathered here and certainly to the organizers that not much has changed. But yes, even though the Foreign Secretary David Lamy uh, announced the immediate suspension of 30 uh, arms export licenses to Israel, that's out of a, a total of 350. Now, this doesn't come anywhere near close to any sort of arms embargo. And this was a point that the, the Foreign Secretary David Lamy stressed himself. And it certainly doesn't come anywhere near the arms embargo that was put in in 1982 when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister and put an arms embargo and an oil embargo on Israel uh, for its part in the war, in the Lebanon war then. But so this sense of frustration is very much being communicated here. Uh, there perhaps wasn't a great sense of hope that there would be a dramatic shift as a new government came in. But what the demonstrators and the organizers of the demonstrations are determined to do is to keep up the voice, keep up their protest against the ongoing war in Gaza and to make sure that the UK government is fully aware of it and that they're not going to uh, hinder this form of protest while they can. And Sonia, this rally is also the first since that series of racially motivated riots in several towns and cities in the UK a few weeks ago. Has all of that been factored into the decision to go ahead with this march? Well, certainly the organisers have said that this is obviously a Palestinian solidarity march in terms of what's happening in Gaza. But they've also said it is a rallying call for the UK government to take Islamophobia seriously. Now, we have just seen in the UK, we've seen a, a very intense summer in certain cities outside of London uh, that have really struggled with this issue, uh, where there have been very uh, tough anti-immigration and uh, voices that have come come out and rioted against uh, the current UK policy. Now, with that in mind, you've had to sort of reconcile the fact that uh, the riots had caused immense damage. There was even a hotel in which asylum seekers had been staying in that was lit up in flames by some of those rioters. So a very, very tense situation indeed. Uh, what the demonstrators are calling for here is for the government, the Home Secretary and for the Prime Minister Keir Starmer to take those sentiments seriously and to underscore that Islamophobia is still a clear and present danger in the UK, which does need to be resolved urgently. OK, Sonia, many thanks for that. Sonia Gallego in London. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.